Island. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Just to a dull roar, huh? Hey! Well, I was beginning to think I disappeared. It's about time to get into the real purpose of this meeting. Our good friend Ranger Bill Jefferson wants to say a few words to us. What? Oh, what's that? Uh, what's the matter? Well, Henry, have you gone off your old rocker? Oh, I don't think so, Benny. Why? Well, how can Ranger Bill say something to us when he ain't even here? Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I said. Well, that's a good question, Benny. But are you sure he isn't here? Oh, I don't think he is here. Anyone see him? Is he hiding here somewhere? Then you don't think he can really say anything to us, huh? Oh, that's right. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Benny. Hey, 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 let me out of here. The place is spooked. Yeah, where is he? No, it isn't, Benny. Everything is perfectly normal. Well, you don't think it's okay to have someone who can see you, but you can't see them, do you? Hey, that you think uh, you think Bill can see you, huh? Well, he knows what I'm saying, don't he? That just means I can hear you, Benny. There's a difference. No, well, see, hear, who cares? Just let me out of here. <laughs> okay, Bill, you can come out now. Oh, there you are. Oh, if you'll all give me your attention for a moment, I'd like to show you a new piece of equipment that's about to be adopted into use by our rangers. That is, we hope to start using it, but that depends on you. Now, here on the desk, behind these books, we've planted this small transistor walkie-talkie. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was in the next room with another one and could hear and talk back to you. As you can see, these sets are much smaller than the ones we use now and could be carried easily without adding extra weight to the usual gear of the rangers. Oh, hey, Ranger Bill. Uh, Benny? Well, you said something about us deciding whether or not you use them little sets. Oh, that's right. And uh, that's why I'm here tonight. When these sets arrived for inspection the other day... I was wondering how to give them the kind of testing they needed without upsetting the work schedules of our men. We're all pretty busy this time of year, as you know. When Bill mentioned it to me, I, I said I thought you guys would like to have a try at testing them for him. Oh, Boy, yeah. that be so we thought we'd see if you fellas would be interested in a hike on Saturday, taking a few of these along and giving them the testing they need. Well, there's your answer, Bill. Pretty much the way we figured, huh, pal? Okay, fellas, if you hold it down, Bill will explain how we plan on working the test. Thank you. Now, here's what we'll do. You fellas will divide into two groups. One group will start to hike due north of Knotty Pine, and the other will go due south. This way, we can spread the sets over a greater distance. If you start in the morning, you should have covered a good distance by, say, about noon. Then we can try them out and see how they work. Sound okay? Oh, that's gone. That's sure. right. oh, that's good. Great. Now, be sure when you go home tonight to get permission from your parents. Have them call either Bill or myself before Saturday morning. And we'll meet here then to divide into groups and start. Now, are there any questions? Hey, how about food? That's a good question. Uh, does everyone want to bring their own, or shall we assign someone the task? 
Oh, oh, let's, let's bring her on. Well, I guess we don't need a vote then. Okay. I'll expect to meet everyone that can go right here at, uh, let's say, 9 o'clock Saturday morning. We'll see you then. Okay. Yes. Boy, this is sure a good day for a hike. Oh, yeah, it sure is, Tim. Hey, look. You can still see the other group. Huh? Where? 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 See? Way over there on the far right, oh, just going yeah. over the hill. <laughs> they look like a caravan. <laughs> or a chain gang. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think you're so funny, huh? Uh-oh. I didn't know he had his walkie-talkie on. <laughs> well, you do, and we can hear every word you're saying. Well, you won't after this. Over and out until later. Yeah, me too. Oh, Alex, oh, well, I feel like a stuffed pig. <laughs> you know, someday they'll have pills for food, and all a guy will have to do is take a handful along on a hike instead of lugging a lunch around. Oh, that's not for me, boy. Give me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches any day. Vitamin pills are bad enough. Yeah, but pills all the time, ugh. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Okay, okay, you guys. But you won't find any of those space explorers taking sandwiches along to the moon. They'll all have special capsules and stuff to eat. Yeah, but, Tim, if they get tired of pills, it won't matter. How come? Well, the moon's made of green cheese, isn't it? I'm beat, too. Hey, Henry, what time is it? Oh, it's only 11.30. We've got half an hour yet before we're supposed to report our position to Bill. Think we should hike a little more? No, oh, no, my feet are no. me. I don't think so. We've really made good time. Yeah, let's call the other kids. Yeah. Okay, hand me the walkie-talkie. <clears throat> Thanks. They're probably on the trail. Yeah, they probably haven't even eaten yet. Come on, let's call them. Okay, and it's all set. Yankees to Dixie. Yankees to Dixie. Come in, Dixie. Henry, I can hear you real well. That's not how you do it, stupid. Here, let me have that. Dixie to Yankees. Dixie to Yankees. We read you, Yanks. Over. What is your position, Dixie? Over. Our group passed Webster Ravine a few minutes ago. Report your position, Yankees. Over. We estimate our position is about one half mile from the caves. We've made good time, have eaten, and are living it up till we hear from Bill. <laughs> then what do you plan on doing? Bill! I thought we were supposed to... I mean that you were going to... Call well, I mean... you at noon? <laughs> I noticed the signal flash, so I thought I might as well listen in to what you kids are up to. Well, the equipment seems to be working well, Bill. We can hear you as clear as anything. Yeah, so can we. Good. All uh, just uh, like we... This is Ranger, Bill. Can you hear anything besides my voice? Mm, well, I don't think so. I can. It's a plane. Yeah, Henry. I mean, Yankees. It's flying right overhead now. Well, this equipment is more sensitive than I thought. I, I do hear it myself now. Well, you guys should be able to hear it soon. It's going due north. Oh, good. We'll watch for it. Yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. Yeah. Hey, hey, I think I see it. Where? Where? Where bones? Do you see it, Henry? I sure do, Bill. It's a single engine. Three or four passengers, I think. Say, I can hear it now. Is it right overhead? It's just passing us. Yeah. Hey, that's funny. What is it, pal? Well, it's really flying low now. Hey, Bill, the engine is missing something awful. Can you still see the plane, Henry? It's coming down. Yeah, it's it's coming. Coming. It's a crash. Is there a clearing there, Henry? No, the trees are really thick, unless it crashes on the caves. Well, I'll get stumpy and we'll be there just as fast as we can. Hey, now, Bill, Henry, uh... Bill, it crashed. I can see where. It's on the other side of the hill. Stumpy and I'll be there on the double, Henry. Get over there as fast as you can. And remember to keep away if the plane is burning. You other fellas do exactly as Henry says. Over and out, Henry. Keep 
throwing dirt on that burning wing, fellas. It shouldn't take a lot more. Hey, Tim, you and Wayne keep searching for the passengers. But now don't go too far. Okay. Okay. Hey, Henry, how come the people are gone? I don't know. They may have been thrown clear and, and then ran from the plane thinking it would explode. Yeah, but they could come back now. The fire's almost out. Well, it sure is good the gas tank was thrown clear of the plane and with that other stuff. Boy, I sure wish Ranger Bill would get here. What if the people are hurt? Henry, we can't find anybody. It's sure funny. What about the cave? I'm not going in there. Those crumbly old holes are falling in by themselves. I'm not going to help them cave in on me. Boy, me either. My dad would really be mad. Hey, Bill! Stumpy! Over here! Nice work, fellas. I see you have that fire under control. Bill, we can't find any people. Yeah, Bill. There isn't a sign of anybody. Well, they can't be far away. Let's all fan out and comb this area. We'll meet back here at the wreck in 20 minutes. Oh, but Bill, we've Come already... Come on, let's give it another try, Tim. They've got to be somewhere. From the looks on the faces of those young fellers, they... Didn't find any passengers, Bill. You're right, Stumpy. We didn't see a sign of anybody, Bill. Maybe they just started to hike to town. I think we should start back, too. Hey, fellows, uh, come over here. Huh? Well, what's on your mind, Bill? Uh, ain't nothing here but this old caved-in hole. Yeah, my dad told me these caves are dangerous. They're, they're always falling in. Henry... Help me push away some of this dirt. Oh, sure, Bill. But I don't get it. Nobody could get in here. And I wonder. This is a fresh cave-in. Do you think they got trapped in there? I hope not. It's just a hunch. Hey, what's that you just threw away there, Henry? Huh? Where? Uh, uh, here. On this bit of rock. What have you got, old-timer? Well, it's a piece of cloth caught on this rock. Hey, here's some more. Hey, it looks like parts of a man's shirt. Do you think it belongs to someone from the tr plane? Well, the plane is about 25 yards from this cave. Since the wind is blowing away from the caves, it's more likely that the passengers would run this way, away from the flames. Which would be straight this way. They'd be excited, maybe in shock. Would notice how dangerous these openings are. And, and when they got in, the entrance caved in. And they couldn't get out again? It could be, fellows. We'll have to check these caves, and fast. How'd you know about these side openings in the caves, Bill? Well, all this area is mapped out in terrific detail on the Ranger maps, Tim. I told you to come up and look at them sometime, remember? I uh, say, Tim, you stay at the mouth of the cave and keep a watch. If those folks are in the caves and should decide to try to dig their way out of the front opening, come around here and yell for us. Okay, Bill. Henry, you and Stompy come in with me and we'll split up. Now, be careful. Duck your heads. We don't want another avalanche. It sure is creepy in here. Can't say I like creeping along, bent over like a circus monkey. Well, the passage ought to get a lot wider and higher, Stumpy. Henry, why don't you give a holler for them folks? Yeah, maybe they could hear us. Hello? Hello? They are in here. They're a lot farther in. Well, we are at a junction. Yeah, it's good to be able to straighten up. You can say that again. 
Oh, Henry, you and Stumpy take the right turn. Flashlight work okay? Uh, yeah. Good thing we have these walkie-talkies. We'll really be able to use them. Now, you two report to me every five or ten minutes. These caves can be treacherous. So watch every step you take. Sure, Bill. So long. Now, remember, be careful. <laughs> they don't call me Jumpy Jenkins for nothing, Bill. Well, be as careful as a barefoot bird on a high-tension wire. Hey, what's that dripping I hear? <laughs> Could be an underground spring, I reckon. Or moisture on the roof of this. Shh. I thought I heard something. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Except that water somewhere. Well, maybe I'm just hearing things. Come on. You wouldn't think anyone would go this deep in the cave, would you, Stumpy? Well, if you're trying to find a way out, you keep walking, I guess. We ought to meet up with them folks if they follow the trail down. And if we don't, we... Hey! Hey, young fella! Look out! Wow. Ooh, that was close. Sure was close, honey. This here ledge ain't taken too well to being walked on. Here, Stumpy. Flash the light back. Is it still wide enough for us to get back? Uh, well, if it don't cave in no more, it looks all right. We'll have to hold our breath to go over it, though. Bill to Henry. Any luck, fellas? Oh, I forgot about calling. Bill, we haven't seen a sign of them. How about you? Nope. I have a hunch they're on your side, though, if they're in the cave at all. How come? This passageway is really rotted. It's too steep and caved in for a group to come through. Well, we'll keep going, Bill. I'll report back in five minutes. Okay. Out for now. There it is now. I do hear something. Well, you got better ears than I have. Listen. Someone calling. Hello. Keep walking toward our light. I can't see a thing. Well, I can't see them either, but they must be able to see our flashlight. Oh, how wonderful to have a light. Hey, are you one of the fellers from that plane crash? Yes. Mrs. Hill and I were on our way downstate to visit our new grandson. We, we always have our engine checked over before we start. We're in such a hurry to get away. <laughs> Is this the way out? It's been so nerve-wracking, the crash, and then wandering around in here in the dark. There, there, dear. Just follow us, folks. We aren't far from the entrance. Oh, thank God you found us. Air and sunlight again. Here, sit down, Sarah. Thank you, dear. Dr. Hill, this is my friend, Tim. He's been helping us find you folks. Uh, Tim, do you know Dr. Hill? Sure. You took my tonsils out last Christmas. Now, this is Mrs. Hill, Tim. Hello, Mrs. Hill. I'm glad you folks are okay. Oh, hello, Tim. Thank you for your part in helping us. We appreciate it. Henry to Bill. Henry to Bill. Come in, Bill. Hello, Henry. How's it going? Bill, we found him. We're all outside now. The plane belonged to Dr. Hill, and, and he's okay. And so is Mrs. Hill. Good work, you two. I'm on my way back, too. This passage came to a dead end. Hey, what's that noise, Bill? Hey, Henry, Henry, there. Bill! Bill! Well, 
Look at the mouth of the cave. It's smoking like a volcano. That's not smoke. That's dust. The whole passageway is caved in. Oh, David. Bill. Bill. Are you okay? Bill. What do we do? Nobody can get in there now. We'll get help from town. Well, come on. We ain't getting Bill out, standing around, drawing about it. The wagon's parked a piece away. Let's move. We've been digging for three hours. Nothing. Well, they'd better just keep digging, Sonny. I'm sitting here until I see some results. It's getting dark, Stumpy. So what? Well, I think they're thinking about giving up. They can hardly see what they're doing, and they haven't had any supper. Well, you don't think Bill's getting a little hungry, do you? Well, sure, Stumpy. I only meant that... Well, this is no good, Mr. Jenkins. We've had dug as far as we can. There's been two more cave-ins with us digging around in there. Now we're up solid rock. Can't move an inch. This takes equipment we just don't have. Well, then we'll get what you need. Well, we'll have to go to Waterford City for that, sir. Well, that's 80 miles away. They're blasting out the foundation for a new steel mill there. It's a government project, and all the available equipment's been there for weeks. Well, how fast could you get it? Well, if we can get the right people out of bed, uh, first thing in the morning we could be back here blasting. Morning? <laughs> you can't just leave a man in there all night. Oh, Stumpy, what else can they do? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Okay, fellas, pack it up for tonight. Can I give you a lift back to town? No, thanks. We ain't going anywhere, are we, Sonny? You and me are going to keep Bill company right here. Well, uh, I... It's okay. We've got our camping gear in the car. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Uh, I'm sure we'll get him out okay, Mr. Jenkins. I'll get right to work on bringing that equipment up here. Good night. Night! Thanks a lot. Let's go, fellas. Stumpy, are you asleep? Of course I'm not asleep. What time is it? Uh, three o'clock. Stumpy? Huh? Uh, what now? Uh, you don't think Bill's hurt in there, do you? I don't know, Sonny. If a ton of dirt fell on me... I think I'd feel it, wouldn't you? You do think he's all right. Well, I ain't no fortune teller, Henry. Of course he's all right. He's the best friend I ever had. Yeah, me too. I never knew a man who was so willing to give everything he had to helping folks. I know. We've talked about it a lot, and Bill always said that the, the most important thing in his life was being a Christian. Yep. There's sure no question about that. He said the Lord Jesus never stopped helping him and, and loving him. And in the same way, he thought that Christians ought to never give up trying to help folks and, and love them. He's a man that walked the way he talked, too. Uh-huh. Say, say, Sonny. Yes, Dumpy? What do you say if we pray again? Yeah, let's. You start, Sonny. Okay. Our Father, we thank you again that you're right here with us and know all about the cave-in. And we thank you that everything you do is best for us, even though sometimes it... It really hurts his father. We ask once more that if it is your will, 
You'll bring Bill out safely. Stumpy? Uh, Father, from all the years of knowing you, we've learned that you never make a mistake. And everything that happens to us is your intent. Right now, we ask that you'll help them workmen to get Bill out of there in the morning. And if it's what you want, Bill will be safe and sound. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sonny, I feel too restless to sleep. Why don't you try to get a few winks before it gets light? I think I'll go for a walk. Okay, Stumpy. I'll try. Oh, the flashlight's uh, over there in the kit. Uh, thanks. See you later. Okay. <sighs> That fire's getting low. Well, maybe I should throw some more wood on. Oh, well. It'll last till daybreak. Bill to Henry and Stumpy. Bill to Henry and Stumpy. Can you hear me? Bill to Henry and Stumpy. We've got them out. Bill, there's Dr. Hill. Uh, are you coming out now? Henry, Stumpy, come in, please. Uh, Bill, to Henry uh, and Stumpy, come in, please. Uh, hmm? What? Huh, Bill? Huh? <clears throat> oh, I must have been dreaming. Henry, Stumpy, huh? are you there? Henry, Stumpy. Bill, it is him. Hello? Hello? Bill, is that you? Where are you? Are you all right, Bill? <laughs> Take it easy, Henry. I'm back at the station. What? My walkie-talkie was smashed in the cave then. I got out through a tunnel on the other side of the cave. <laughs> How'd you get back? Hey, w- wait till I yell for Stumpy. Stumpy! Hey, Stumpy! Bill, how'd you get back? Followed the stars. I had no idea you fellas were still out there. Hey, Stumpy! It's Bill! He got out! He's alive! (laughs) I'm so glad to see you, Bill. I don't even care if it is past four in the morning. (laughs) Stubby, I'll tuck you in bed myself as soon as you finish that cup of coffee. I'll hold you to that. This is making me just warm enough for a good night's and day's rest. <laughs> you know, I'll never be able to tell you what it means to have two friends like you. How about it, pal? Ready for bed? Henry? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> well, at least he don't snore. <laughs> And so, boys and girls, we found out that our new walkie-talkie equipment would be very useful indeed, but in a most unexpected way. Since that first test, it's become standard equipment here at Naughty Pine and has been a great asset to the Rangers in many circumstances. But perhaps we've never been as glad for it as we were the first time we used it. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill is produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago. Chicago.